flying hulls analysis from a, a very interesting analysis by Giovanni Gambacciani, our supplier of uh, CFDs uh, and uh, CAD and CAD uh, designs. Yes, he, he did this uh, wonderful uh, um, CFD analysis of the different shapes of the hull, uh, taking, uh, for example, one uh, um, plain hull, no? so uh, straight hull, straight bottom hull. Like uh, uh, the one of uh, Defiant of, uh, or uh, of the first uh, uh, Britannia, for example. Uh, and then uh, took uh, two kind of uh, one V keel uh, uh, shape, which is similar to the um, Luna Rossa uh, hull shape. Pretending to be the same, will not be really the same, but very, yes. very close to it. And uh, one uh, uh, which he calls a T shape uh, skeg, let's say so, uh, which is. Uh, similar to the one of uh, Aeneos. Um, the results are uh, quite uh, impressive. Uh, first of all, uh, we, we all said uh, uh, that this, this kind of um, portion of the hull was uh, to separate the flow between uh, um, the windward and leeward side of the hull. Uh, this is uh, obviously proven by, <laughs> by, yes. the, by the CFD, uh, yes. but what we can see in this analysis is how much this affects the performance of the hull uh, and of the boat and how much this uh, uh, affects also the performance of the sail because uh, this is something which is not easy to see and to predict but uh, uh, there is actually a big uh, bubble of uh, pressure. high pressure on the windward side uh, on the hull which is also obviously going a little bit, uh, bit up higher and so actually the wind angle is larger uh, on the sails, so uh, there is an um, effect of the hull uh, and of this uh, pressure bubble uh, which uh, makes uh, the, the sail perform better. So yes, so the, these keels or uh, bustles uh, have also this uh, reason of, uh, of being, you know? So it's uh, quite uh, dramatically different, uh, the efficiency of, uh, of a hull with a bustle compared to the hull uh, completely flat as uh, for a, like a, a surfing, uh, surfing plane in boat. Yes, in fact, and uh, uh, this is very interesting. Obviously, the, uh, the numbers uh, that came, came out from, uh, from this uh, analysis uh, cannot be taken for true. Uh, in, uh, in absolute, uh, let's say, reference, but uh, um, the increase is uh, in an order of magnitude uh, about 10%, 10%, uh, which is uh, another order of magnitude, which is uh, anyway uh, something uh, consistent. So uh, we expect actually this kind of uh, better performance of the sales uh, due to this uh, hull shape and to the separation between the windward and leeward side uh, of, the, of the wind. So higher pressure on windward and this is a little bit the same thing uh, which happens when, uh, when you trim a lot the main, uh, for example, and uh, your jib is actually seeing a better angle, so uh, is, uh, can be fuller also uh, on the entry angle because uh, the, the main is particularly uh, pulled uh, to windward. Exactly. It's not something you should uh, try to do. No. <laughs> it's not that you need to trim the sails properly, but still you have uh, this, uh, this effect due to the fact that there, there is a change of pressure on, uh, on the mainsail uh, part. So that's, uh, that's something that uh, can also be um, examined uh, between Luna Rossa and uh, Ineos. So uh, those two hulls are behaving slightly differently as per uh, the ability of uh, reducing uh, the healing moment, no? Exactly. So uh, in, the, in the analysis we see that uh, the, obviously the higher pressure on the bottom part on, on the windward side of the, of the hull is uh, creating a little bit of a healing moment more. So uh, the boat is healing uh, or have um, higher healing moment uh, um, 
from one side because the, the sales are performing better. So mm -hmm. there is much force uh, on the sales, so much uh, higher uh, healing moment. But also the hull itself uh, is creating a little bit of healing moment, at least uh, in the case of uh, uh, Luna Rossa shape. Uh, this is not the case in uh, Aeneos uh, uh, hull shape. So the higher healing moment of, uh, of Aeneos uh, is, let's say, only due to the fact that the, the sails perform better and not to the fact that uh, the hull is, uh, has this kind of uh, uh, higher pressure on the bottom. This is because uh, actually the flat part uh, uh, so vertical flat part and also the bottom uh, are acting uh, to reduce the, the healing moment and actually so are balancing the forces uh, in terms of, uh, of writing moment uh, so it's uh, not that uh, uh, healing as the, the Luna Rossa boat it's obvious that uh, you can play with the, with the angle uh, of the wind, obviously <laughs> laughing a little bit more, obviously, but, the, but then the study shows uh, that uh, you, have a, you have a slight change due to the, to the shape of the hull. That's, uh, that's really kind of interesting and uh, before the, seeing the CFD, honestly, it would, would have been hard to, to guess uh, this kind of uh, behavior, no? Yes, obviously you can think about what what uh, could happen, uh, but uh, when you see this kind of uh, experiment, let's say, of uh, simulations, uh, you understand uh, uh, much, much better how everything is uh, correlated and related uh, between hull, uh, sales, uh, and uh, uh, position of the, of the hull itself, so height, uh, height of the hull. <laughs> exactly. So thanks, uh, Giovanni, uh, for this uh, document and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.